I'm just about 20 ladies still on hunger strike. I'm weak and I've lost a lot of weight. Sometimes I'm dizzy, but usually I just stay indoors in my bed. I know the official line is there's no strike. Somebody sent me an email about what the um, Undersecretary of State for your home office says, that there's no strike going on and um, everything is fine. But it's, it's opposite of what's going on here. We've been hearing interviews over the radio where they've been saying that um, visitors have been bringing food for us. It is wrong. Yes, would have a no food, no drink policy, so people can bring in food and drinks from the outside. And also, we haven't been buying anything from the vending machines. There's cameras all over the place. And in the shop as well. I've been going to the shop, but I buy milk and drinks. I've never bought any food there. And even if you did, they will be able to see because, you know, you have to put your fingers for your fingerprint to come up, and then it brings up your account. So what they're saying is untrue that we've been eating. We haven't been eating at all. Like, you know when you go to eat, yeah, you cross your name out for lunch and dinner. And then one of the ladies said she saw that it ticked her name off as big as she's eaten already. When she hasn't eaten in the dining room since the 5th, she hasn't been in there for three weeks. I went in there now to say, can I see my name on the, t on the dinner list? And I said, oh, you're not allowed to show you. Why are you not allowed to show me? So, you know, they haven't got a good explanation. They're just trying to cover up their tracks. Friday, it will be three weeks. Feeling sick. Sick and weak. Mentally affected. Mentally affected. You know, you can't think straight. You can't do anything. You mental frustration and everything. <laughs> An elderly woman of about 64 years old. In fact, she was taken to the hospital today. Um, one of us even tried to commit suicide, tried to harm herself, and she's been taken to the hospital. I have been on hunger strike since the 5th of February. I've been tortured. I've been raped. I've been for all those things. I have medical problems, you understand? And they have no psychiatrist. They have no art purpose, nothing from the time I've been sent. They have no treatment here for me. Only what I could take is my tablets, my antipsychotics, and different stuff is the medication alone. I won my case. I won my case on the 21st of um, um, January, the the judge sent the decision. I won it under Article 3, and they're still keeping me detained in here. Yeah, they're still keeping me detained in here. For, for what reason, I don't know. We want in the Home Office to, to look into the cases, because there's people here who've won the cases. Yes, there's um, people, pregnant women here. There's people who are with mental ill. Some people have been here two years, you know. So they need to look into the cases and do something about it. They are checking our email now. They're writing down your names as soon as you come into the computer room because they want to know what we are doing because they, they know we are using our email to send the information out. And they're checking our letters. Before we can send letters, fax out whoever we want to go now. They've changed the rules because they are, they are worried that we're going to be sending information out to the news media. Since the incident happened, all the mails that I've re received have been opened. So I think that the thing is because they want to get to the bottom and want to know what we're doing. That's probably why they're saying their guidelines is that torture victims should not be here. They have independent evidence that I have been tortured, but they still tell me here. You know, I'm on five different medications. This other time, there was a girl who was um, dragged naked through the center um, by the escort. Um, it was a Christmas Eve. Someone tried to kill herself as well, and the officers knew I was distressed. 
And because I'm in the induction unit for my uh, medical reasons, every time you hear people crying or, you know, people trying to, um, what's the call it, like, commit suicide and first response, and it's not good. I just keep crying and crying because it just, it's like I'm reliving my nightmares all the time. You know, I shouldn't be in this place. They shouldn't be doing these things to me. So the question that we all have, really, is who are we going to believe? Are we going to believe the Home Office, who has clearly a vested interest as opposed to the testimony that people hear for themselves, who is telling the truth. I just hope you people will just come and investigate what they're seeing and what is happening is different, you know. Thank you very much.